<laughs> if you've read the book it's sort of one of those books where there's lots, so many different things in it where someone jokingly says to you before you film it good luck with the yeah, yeah, yeah. so for, yeah. for example there's so many creatures and so many characters that we have to visualise and I think just getting your head around the concept of it the yeah. third season is definitely sort of the the most ambitious, I think, of the three books. And it's where well, you have Malefas and you've got so many different worlds to explore. And you've got to complete all these storylines. So you've got to kind of complete the stories for Lyra, for Mrs. Coulter, for Azriel. It's, it's huge, actually, undertaking. Um, and you're in the midst of it, doing that. Absolutely. Till the end. What do you guys think might surprise people about this new season? Um, you know, anything unexpected without giving anything away? Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I think the... Um, think where it goes it definitely takes if you think of it as a, we always talk about it as a grounded fantasy mm. it definitely takes a, a leap when you get into the third season it gets quite philosophical in the third season yeah. it's it's Philip's sort of attempt well, it's, it's him discussing what the whole book is about really and human consciousness and it's huge themes and big ideas so I think a lot of that comes in the third season that's like quite ambitious for all of us to deal with and to sort of um, put out there but yeah 